Paul was given the ministry, the, the responsibility to carry the gospel, the good news of Jesus, to the entire world, to those outside of the sphere of Judaism. So Paul had been raised up in the Jewish faith, but after an encounter with God on the road to Damascus, he was, he was shown that Jesus was not only the fulfillment of all the Old Testament prophecies, but that he was the Messiah that the Jewish people had been looking for, that God had chosen Jesus, his own son, had sent him to be the sacrifice for our sins, to be the Savior, to be uh, the Lord of all, and help those come to relationship with God, to satisfy our, um, the, the wrath of God that, that our sin had um, had, had put us in position with the Hebrews to put us in right standing with God and then would be the hope of the future for us as he was raised from the dead, that we now have hope beyond this life. And so it's Paul's job, it's Paul's responsibility, is the ministry that God gave Paul to reveal this mystery, this unknown truth to those that God would send him to. And so if we did... Uh, contact tracing throughout the uh, uh, ancient world, we can see all these spots where Paul would go and he would share the good news with them and he would share the gospel in this city and that city and a church would grow and there would be influence in that, uh, in, in that uh, region, in that area, in that town, in that city and, and that influence would grow as the gospel would be spread throughout the, the residents there. That baton gets passed throughout the ages. You know, unfortunately, in many of the places where Paul went, there's no longer a church. Ephesus no longer is this booming, thriving uh, a Christian city. In fact, it's, it, it, the, 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 the church, we even see by the time Revelation is written, that the church has lost its first love of, of sharing, of being an influence for Jesus in that area. But what about us? So we might say, well, God's not spoken to me in, in the same way that he spoke to Paul. And so, so I'm not feeling led in quite that same way. But as we read through those verses in the first part of Ephesians 3, it was God chose the church to reveal his goodness, his love, his mission, his, his, his ministry through Jesus to the world. And so it's through the church. The church is the vehicle to which God makes himself known to the world. And so if you are a follower of Jesus, if you uh, have, uh, have uh, accepted Jesus as your Savior, if you are a Christian, and whatever phrase, whatever term you want to call your, describe your faith in Jesus, you are part of his church. And if you are part of his church, then it's your responsibility, it is your ministry to share with others who do not know this thing. You need to make known to them what they do not yet know. That Jesus came to die for them. That Jesus gave his life for them. That we have uh, grace through his blood. And that we have hope of a future of, of, of life after death with Jesus. But who are we sharing that with? Who are the contacts that we have outside of those who are already believers? Who are those who have not yet chosen Jesus that we are communicating with, that we are talking to, that we are sharing our faith with, that we are expanding God's kingdom, that we are making known to others that didn't previously know. Who are you in contact with? Who are you sharing your faith with? Who are you sharing the gospel with that is going out from us to the world, that's making known Jesus to those who do not yet know him as he truly is? And I pray that this week we have opportunity to share with others about the love of Jesus and how he has shaped and molded our life, and that we can encourage them to do the same. Hey guys, I love you, and I'm praying for you, and I hope we get to see each other real soon.